welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. This is um, a very short video showing you how to upgrade the firmware of your devices connected to TIA Portal. So in this example I'm using TIA Portal version 16. So on this particular project I have a card here on my ET200SP. It's a Coriolis card, it's the FCT070 technology module and I need to upgrade the firmware on it. So the first thing we need to do is just double click on that IO rack. I can see here this is the card I, I wish to upgrade. So we need to go online. If there's a fault, as long as the fault is not a device missing, if it's just a general instrumentation fault it doesn't matter. And then we right click it and we go to online diagnostics. And here I can see my current um, version and I need to upgrade that to uh, 1.3. And if you come down here to functions, you'll see firmware update. So I browse for my update file and I can see here this is one supplied by the factory. And this is my new firmware version. And then um, run the update. And I can do that while the PLC is in run mode. Of course, be really careful at this stage because if your process value is from this device is being used um, or shared by other processes uh, during the upgrade, you're potentially going to lose your process value. So you 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 have to warn that the the plant may have to be run in hand while you're doing this. So we'll run the update. And normally, when I'm watching this, it will jump to 4% um, and I'm happy once it's got past that stage so you can see there 4% once it goes to 8% normally it's got past any errors that will prevent it from upgrading and depending on the complexity of the card depends on how long it will take to upgrade this particular card takes about 20 minutes um, I did try to upgrade this over Wi-Fi to start off with and the upgrade time was um, uh, uh, 75 minutes but I had quite a few where I would lose comms and I'd have to start again. So uh, my advice is to, to use a hardwired connection to your PLC or your IO rack and, um, uh, and do the upgrade that way. So we'll leave this to do the upgrade. Um, you can see down here I've got run firmware after update so I don't have to tell it to do anything. It's just going to continue to run. The upgrade itself um, doesn't wipe any of the parameters from the unit. So if you've got things on this particular card like low flow cutoff or whatever programmed um, or in particular for this one it's got um, it's got my six um, ABV curves on it doesn't wipe those so I don't have to do any reprogramming after it's finished the upgrade so as you can see um, the firmware is uh, transferred to, to the module so I'm just going to start the module now as you'll see from this screen here it's not dynamically updated so you need to come out and then go back in and you'll see there that you, you, there's your new firmware so that's how you update um, the majority of IO cards on TIA portal it's a similar process for for other uh, Siemens operating systems such as PCS7 it can be done from your hardware screen so relatively easy and um, I uh, hope that was useful and thanks for listening